Hi, um, I'm in the bathroom right now. The the bathtub faucet is uh, running, so pardon the background noise. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about what happened at NRG Park in Houston this past Friday. Um, 17 people with serious injuries following the kind of insurrection of the Astroworld Festival stage, which was headlined by Travis Scott, who, along with his team, organizes that festival every year. It's known to be a buddy boiler of chaos every single year. Really, it's a buddy boiler of chaos every time Travis Scott headlines any concert, wherever it may be, whatever it is. Among those 17 people, eight of them have died. Lawsuits of the Wazoo are being filed against Travis Scott and the concert organizers. But after overhearing uh, a news report on Good Day New York this morning about Travis Scott being arrested twice uh, for basically inciting a riot, um, inciting chaos intentionally among his fans, his ardent fans and being warned by the Houston police prior to holding this year's Astro World Festival, um, you think by now the dude would have learned. He didn't. To quote, y'all know what you came here to do. And because of that little decree, eight people, eight of his fans, ages 14 to 27, uh, a few of them high schoolers, ended up meeting their maker. Because of one douchebag's reckless conduct and blatant disregard for human safety. I mean, and given the crowd itself, I don't want to blame the crowd necessarily, but they had some hand in this. They knew what they were getting themselves into, just like Travis Scott did. I mean, 50,000 people in Houston, Texas, the NRG Park, a good chunk of them maskless. No social distancing. I mean, it's bad enough. But then you incite an insurrection of your stage with that decree. Y'all know what you came here to do, and eight of your fans have died as a result. Before I get to you, Travis, let me just say to Kylie Jenner, screw you for being benevolent throughout the whole thing. I mean, you had one of your Instagram stories, you at the concert, with ambulance lights flashing and sirens blaring, and you said you didn't know about it beforehand? Well, you know now, and hopefully you'll bear some of the shame and pain associated with this terrible incident. And maybe you will help Travis cover some of the funeral bills for all eight who have perished in that terrible incident. And in reality, those two should pay a lot more than just the funeral bills and the the therapy bills from BetterHelp.com is going to come as a result of this, and of course all the lawsuits that are coming. I mean, he, the dude's been arrested twice. This is the third time this has happened. Game over. He needs to pay off the, the medical bills for the surviving victims of this incident. He needs to do time. He needs to pay with some of his freedom, as this has been the third incident that happened of him inciting chaos in one of his concerts. Well, this time, eight people have died, so he needs to pay, period. He needs to go to prison. He needs to be indicted for manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and everything else. The organizers, the security guards, their misguided attempts to curb all this chaos, they failed. They should also bear some of the blame. They should have to pay bills as well. Maybe they should do some time. Uh, maybe, they, maybe they should face indictments. I'm just... I'm flabbergasted that... This is still going on. I mean, we really can't live our lives as we used to anymore because of COVID. And it takes one freaking asshole to warn it for everybody for a long time. For the people who've lost their lives and the family and friends of the deceased, my heart goes out to you. And uh, I hope... That something like this will not happen again. But the reality is, in this post-COVID world, or in a future post-COVID world, if there ever is one, stuff like this could happen again. Hopefully we'll take steps to ensure that it doesn't. But for now, rest in peace to all the victims. Sorry to everybody who's been affected by this. Thank you for listening. Fuck Travis Scott. See you later.